in news that is shocking, shocking, completely shocking. Okay, totally not that shocking. Researchers from four security firms announced that many of the ransomware attacks on U.S. companies are originating from China, quite possibly with state support. Phil Burdett, head of Dell SecureWorks Incident Response Team, has been tasked with forensic analysis of three ransomware cases in which, in which hackers were able to exploit known application server vulnerabilities to install ransomware on hundreds of computers. Burnett noticed that many of the tools and tactics being used were nearly identical to those being used by Chinese state-sponsored network intrusion cases. While this doesn't mean that the Chinese government itself is commissioning the attacks, it does suggest that at least a few of the hackers employed by the Chinese government are moonlighting to supplement their income, which could have been dramatically reduced with the announced reduction in cyber espionage by Beijing. In any case, security researchers involved have warned that as it becomes less financially sufficient to trade credit cards and identities, ransomware will become the de facto cyber smash and grab. iMessage encryption busted, cracked, and fixed. Get excited, but not too much. A vulnerability in the encryption method used by iOS and OS X when transmitting iMessages would allow attackers to intercept messages and snoop on photos and videos, according to researchers at Johns Hopkins University. That's bad. On the other hand, the vulnerability was fixed in iOS 9.3 and updates to Mac OS X El Capitan. Using an emulated I Apple iCloud server, researchers obtained links to photos stored in iCloud sent by those phones, as well as 64-digit encryption keys. According to the researchers' report, the proof-of-concept attack took roughly 130,000 edits and 72 hours. You would think that 34 years of using a technology, especially one that's widely used by email servers, would substantially improve its security over time. Not this guy, says SMTP. While well, as a middle-aged as SMTP might be, this might be the middle midlife crisis it's been looking for. On Friday, a coalition of researchers from several tech giants as Google, Microsoft, and Yahoo have submitted a new proposal for a new email protocol called SMTP S2S, or Strict Transport Security. SMTP is inherently just plagued by security flaws since its debut in 1982, and its first attempt to fix that problem was the STAR at TTLS extension that was brought in 2002. It basically encrypts the channels to send the messages. One issue with this extension was it was, wasn't widely adopted, and if you're an optimist, the star TTLS is for you because basically it, it uses opportunistic encryption. It doesn't actually validate anything with the digital certificate presented by an email server. It just assumes that even though the server's ID is not verified, encryption of the traffic is better than nothing. This opens the door to man-in-the-middle attacks, replacing certs with self-signed ones or spoofing opposing servers and telling the sender that its counterpart doesn't have encryption. So just unencrypt yourself and show plain text. So this one is actually the next attempt at securing SCTV uh, with the new extension where it gives email providers the means to inform connection clients that TLS is available and it should be used. It also tells them how the presented certificate should be validated and what should happen if TLS connections cannot be safely negotiated. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to open any technology that might help email be more secure.